So a lot of people hit me up all the time about wanting to be a part of Spotlight Series. So Spotlight Series is a little different. I'm really not looking for somebody cousin who know how to rap or sing. Like, I'm like way past that point. Nothing against them. Like, keep pushing. But like Spotlight Series is literally like me trying to do like my A&R work at the same time. Like I'm trying to put people out there. So like after you do a Spotlight Series, you go on to YouTube, right? So like I want my page to be a page that if somebody was looking for somebody, they could be like, yo, go on Spotlight Series you probably could find you an artist on there. Like, you know what I'm saying? So whoever I pick is a reflection of me, like, and who, mm-hmm. what type of music I would listen to and how good of an ear I have. So like the process is like, if you have an EPK and you well put together and the city is saying like, nah, this, this is who we love. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And Spotlight Series is not to just stay in Buffalo. This is what we're doing right now. Like, of course I'm going to start in my city. I want Spotlight Series to like branch out and because right now with Spotlight Series 716, I want to do a Spotlight Series 718, 213. Like, I want to be everywhere. Like, you know what I'm saying? But like, when I pick my artist, you have to be a certain type of artist. I want you to have videos. I want you to have music. I want you to have like a team. I want you to be like professional. Like, I want you to bring your shit like I want to be a how you get in an interview if you only got one song out that's what I'm saying like how could I even get Chandra to interview you hey clip that up <laughs> clip that up right like how am I supposed to provide a platform for you not to say nothing like I don't want you to say yeah I woke up and I did music yesterday this is my song like nah that's not that's not what I'm into like I need you to be at least somewhat you know doing something for me mm-hmm. to do that for you so that's what Spotlight Series is. That's the process. And a lot of people have been sending me their EPKs because I've been testing niggas too. Like, yo, they hit me up and I'd be like, send me your EPK. What's that? Now I don't hear from them for like a month and then now all of a sudden <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I got an EPK. I'm happy that you created one. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. You gotta be prepared. Put them onto that verbiage. Yeah. Electronic press kit. Get that. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Electronic press kit. Get that. So do you eventually want to do it more than once a month too? I do if I, I have to get a like a bit like a, a staff mm-hmm. because it's a lot with for just sure. the little like the little little team that I have like it's really a lot for us so like doing and when my promo game get up and like my shit get where I need it to be yes we could do more than one but right now we still kind of like pushing like one show at a time because we still moving like mm-hmm. we still getting it together we still getting the flow so yeah I do or that's gonna be hard and. I'm going to be doing more shows anyway, so sometimes I'm, I might can't do, like, a Spotlight Series twice. Like, I'll do a Spotlight Series, and then I'll do a show that's just Betty Crock Entertainment. You get what I'm saying? Mm. Like that. How was the uh, the show at Larkin Square? Bomb. Like, <laughs> it, and you know what? Oh, shout out to Harry from Larkin Square. He really, really fucked with us. Like, he really was like, whatever y'all need. Like, I'm around for y'all, so shout out to Harry from Larkin Square. I really appreciate you, like, a lot. He's, he kind of, like, still want to support, like, still trying to help me, like, figure out, like, a home for Spotlight Series, too. Mm-hmm. So, like, yeah, I built a lot of um, relationships with people, like like AI. Mm-hmm. Like, I built a really great um, relationship with AI. She was one of the sponsors for Spotlight Series. Um, Pineapple Co., like, um, Hugo Hurt, that's my mentor. Like, I... I got a lot of people that's behind me and like pushing me, like, you know what I'm saying? I just want to get it right enough so that they could feel so confident in what they give me or if they put behind me. I want them to be like, oh yeah, every time, whatever you need. Word, that's fire. That's super dope. Um, Who are some, I don't know if you want to disclose, but who are some future guests you see being on the Spotlight Series that you haven't had yet? Um, Free Music Party. That'd be hard. I'm That'd definitely be getting free music party. Plus, they they be creating their own setups and all that. Like they mm. backgrounds and aesthetics. That joint gonna be crazy. Oh man, I I definitely fuck with free music party. Um, Dre Cash, I want him bad. Mm-hmm. I'm pro- I'm gonna do my brother Rick High. He already told me he was gonna do one for me. We just gotta make sure like it's in good timing. Um, let me see. Who else? It's some more. It's, it's it's a whole bunch of people that be hitting me up all the time that I be watching. I really 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 want some some like R&B love like I want some more R&B and I really want some more women it's like it's mm. really hard for me to like grab some women to get on like spotlight series so like why do you think that is I don't know I just like maybe I'm not put on to the women that's singing or doing whatever like that's how I be feeling because like we we be looking for the women x and it's like we we want I want to see them get a little bit louder like, yeah, like I don't want to hear media, it. Get more out. Get put yourself out there a little bit more so we can see. DM us a lot of a lot, and that's one thing I, I've talked to some some artists. A lot of artists are like afraid to like 
reach out to the media outlets because it's like, oh, you're supposed mm-hmm. to see me, and da, 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 da. And it's like, no, it's okay to say hi to. <laughs> you know right, what I'm saying? Like, right, yeah. It, it makes it's like, oh, oh, wow, you're, you're welcoming. Let's word, let's work. Mm-hmm. Is that, it's, it's, it's I want simple, some ladies, they could reach out to me. Hit me up. Hit up Nev. Hit up, hit up my DMs. Like, go in there because I really am looking for some women. Like, whether you sing, whether you rap, whatever. Like, I'm really looking for some women to do something with. And I'm looking for just, I'm just looking for some real professional people that just want to work. I'm, like I said, I'm not looking for nobody to be like, oh, yeah, I got a cousin yeah. that do this. Like, no, I, I really want you to have some shit behind you. So, Copy. So, uh... You got anything? Kimon, did you have anything? Yeah, I got a couple. All right. So, like, going back to the beginning, you guys said when you did your first show, there was, like, some artists that didn't show up that was on your bill. Did did those artists ever try to double back if you start moving? And then I told you that first class didn't show up. Uh-huh. Billy Billy Esco got a Larkin Square Spotlight Series. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. I don't hold no grudge. You know what I'm saying? Welcome to Larkin Square, Billy Esco. I wish you would have did my first Spotlight Series when I had you on the bill, but I'm not like that. Like, I really am for the culture. Like, 